So radioactivity was discovered in 1896 by Antoine Henri Becquerel. Um, so some substances emit a greenish glow, and um, we know now that it's called phosphorescence. I remember up at the lake one year, there was a, a tree stump that had been decomposing, and at night, clouded and you know no moon or stars, and you, you go out to use the outhouse, very fancy cabin, and there's this green thing glowing off to the side of the path. It's a little disturbing. <laughs> but it was phosphorescence from this decaying tree stump. So this greenish glow, of course, you know, makes people curious, and they're like, what is this? So Becquerel hypothesized that that glow was associated with the emission of x-rays, which are invisible. So he tested this hypothesis by exposing potassium urinal sulfate crystals, which have uranium in them, to sunlight, and then placing them on a covered photographic plate. So, you know, phosphorescence acts a lot like the glow-in-the-dark stuff, right? So it gets charged up in the light, and then you put it in the dark, and it glows. So he did that. And the plate showed a dark spot where the crystals had been. And he's like, cool, this is great. It worked. So this is a picture of his photographic film. And so we see that there was something happening there between the um, whatever was being given off by those crystals and the photographic film. So his hypothesis, he believed, was correct. So he presented his results to the French Academy of Sciences, and then later he had to retract his results because he found out that it wasn't correct. Because later, those urinal crystals sitting in a dark drawer for a long time no light, they would still expose photographic film. So obviously this cannot be from absorbing light and releasing it later. The crystals themselves must be emitting something. So he called that uranic rays from, you know, rays coming from uranium. And by the way, I will not test you on the history of radioactivity. So don't stress about it. Um, you've probably heard of Marie Curie. She was one of the first women in France to pursue a doctorate in, in science. She discovered two new elements in her quest to find other substances that emitted these uranic rays. And the substances or the elements she discovered were polonium and radium. Polonium, named for her home country of Poland. Radium, named for its high level of radioactivity. It actually glows and emits heat. Not all radioactive things glow, but radium does. This is a photograph of a watch. Um, these glow-in-the-dark watches used to be made with radium paint, right? And so you're strapping on this thing that's got radium in it that's emitting radioactivity, right? And there's people in those factories painting these things and exposing themselves to radiation. Yeah, early, early science was often very dangerous because you're discovering things that were unknown and you don't know that they're harmful, right? You can't see them, you can't feel them, nothing seems wrong until you, you know, die of cancer two years later, right? Anyway, so I guess Marie Curie thought uranic rays sounded, it does sound kind of stupid to us, but obviously it wasn't just from uranium. So she called this radioactivity. In 1903, the Nobel Prize in Physics went to Becquerel Curie and Marie's husband Pierre Curie for the discovery of radioactivity. In 1911, Marie Curie received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the discovery of those two elements. And that's a photograph of her with her two daughters. 